This book is over 100 years old. That's right. Probability and Theory of Errors by Woodward. So I'm holding something in my hands that is a collectible. So I'm going to open it up. And it opens up strangely. Okay, here we go. There's someone's name there on the inside. Um, it says J.C. Warner. So, and this book is over 100 years old. It's signed from something from publisher 7 1930. Wow. Is that what that says? And then it says mathematical monographs. So this book is probably free. I'm sure it's in the public domain because it's so old. You can Google it and probably find it. If I can find any copies or reprints, I'll leave a link in the description. President Carnegie Institution of Washington. Wow. And here's the copyright, so you can see how old it is. Copyright 1896. Mansfield, Merriman, and Robert S. Woodard, Woodward under the higher mathematics. Wow. Wow, wow. Let's take a look and see what it says here. The volume called Higher Mathematics, the first edition of which was published in 1896, contained 11 chapters by 11 authors, each chapter being independent of the others but also posing the reader to have at least a mathematical training equivalent to that given in a classical and engineering colleges. Interesting. The publication of that volume is now discontinued. The chapters are issued in separate form. In these reissues, it will generally be found that the monographs are enlarged by additional articles or appendices, which either amplify the former presentation or record recent advances. This plan of publication has been arranged in order to meet the demand of teachers and the convenience of classes, but it is also thought that it may prove advantageous to readers in special lines of mathematical literature. It is the intention of the publishers and editors to add other monographs to the series from time to time. If the call for the same seems to warrant it, among the topics which are under consideration are those of elliptic functions, the theory of numbers, the group theory, I like how they say the group theory, the calculus of variations, and non-Euclidean geometry, possibly also monographs on branches of astronomy, mechanics, and mathematical physics may be included. It is the hope of the editors that this form of publication may tend to promote mathematical study and research over a wider field than that which the former volume has occupied. December 1905. Wow, wow. Then here's the author's preface, and then here are the contents. Here's what's in the book. Uh, permutations, combinations, direct probabilities, probability of concurrent events, Bernoulli's theorem, inverse probabilities, probabilities of future events, theory of errors, law of error, typical errors of a system, laws of resultant error, errors of interpolated values, statistical test of theory. Cool. This is really interesting. I'm just going to give it a whiff here. This is over 100 years old. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, because if this says 1905, I mean, this is fourth edition, 1906. The original is 1896. So, yeah, it's still over 100 years old. Really amazing. This book is over 100 years old. Hmm. Oh, this is fun. It is a curious circumstance that a science so profoundly mathematical as the theory of probability should have originated in the games of chance, which occupied the thoughtless and the pro pro profligate. Huh. Uh, and it says that such is the case is sufficiently attested by the fact that much of the terminology of the science and many of its familiar illustrations are drawn directly from the vocabulary and the paraphernalia of the gambler and the trickster. Huh. I don't know what that word means. Um, there's a star here, so I'm just going to look. I, I don't know if it's going to explain it. I can probably look it up after this video. The historical facts referred to in this article are drawn mostly from Todd Hunter's History of the Mathematical Theory of Probability from the time of Pascal to that of Laplace. Huh. Interesting. It, it, so, it sounds like a negative word, and I'm really curious. Um, it's going to be funny when I find out what it is. Actually, I'm going to look it up right now. Um, just going to spell it correctly. It's spelled P-R-O-F-L-I, so P-R-O-F-L-I-G-A-T-E. 
Reckless, extravagant, or wasteful in the use of resources. That's what it says on the internet. Okay, right. Uh, interesting. A noun, a licentious, dissolute person. He is a drunkard and a profligate. Hope I said that right. Hmm. So that's the introduction. Got hung up on that word there. And then we have some actual mathematics here. Permutations. You studied these in statistics. So combinations, it's basic stuff. It's nothing that's like super advanced, you know. If you've already seen this stuff, this might be like a refreshing book for you because you'll be like, oh, I know this. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're doing a little bit differently here. Oh, they're presenting it this way. I'm used to seeing it know, another way. So um, it's a little bit different. Direct probabilities. Bernoulli's theorem. Laws of error. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice little book here. Um, in the back it has, let's get the back of the book. Let's see what we have back here. We've got some, some pages here. We have an index. This could be useful. Um, you know, a lot of times people have books as references. That's one of the reasons I have books, um, other, than, other than the fact that I collect books. And here we have just more of the book. So there's there's no... Nothing in the back, just an index. So combinations. Hmm. So yeah, this book is uh, an interesting one. Um, apparently it was really popular back in the day. And we know that because it was reprinted so many times, right? If you look at, it's a really weird book. The way it's, I feel like this is backwards. This is not correct. And it opens like this. Who is this JC Warner, right? And, and this person here, um, yeah, you know, history, right? I mean, these, are these people alive? Probably not. Uh, you know, this book is very, very old. I mean, 1930, how long ago was that, right? Wow. Wow. A long time ago, right? That's a long time. It's almost, almost 94 years. Insane. Insane. Mathematical monographs. Have some other things here. And yeah, if this is 1906, that's when this one was uh, printed. And this is here 422. Maybe the, that's like the day they did it, 422. I don't know. Maybe not. The uh, right here, this is interesting. Right here it says New York, John Wiley and Sons, London, Chapman and Hill Limited. On the back, it's like you can feel it. You can feel like how it was pressed in to the page. It's almost like a stamp. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's just a subtle, subtle point there. Uh, just gonna get one more whiff. But yeah, it's a pretty cool book. I'll, I'll try to uh, leave uh, a link in the description of this video if I can find any copies. Um, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Uh, they're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from my website because I've lowered the price. So that should help you. Also, it helps me. So yeah, check them out. And if you want to subscribe, go for it. Uh, key point is this book is over 100 years old and it really didn't look that bad. And it should be free. Um, I'll, I'll see what I can find out and I'll post uh, something in the, in the description of this video. Take care.